Test day. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to this year's Grizz Choice Awards. We are so excited to recognize all the hard work that was put in throughout the year and honor those who really stood out. My name is Brandon Barker. I'm a graduate of Franklin College in 2021 and got a chance to announce and do play-by-play -play for all these sports this year, so it's my honor to be here tonight to share these awards with you. So this ceremony, I'd like to bring in athletic director and swing and diving coach Andrew Hendricks to the mic for the opening statements. Coach Hendricks. definitely didn't have to applaud, but I appreciate it. Welcome. It was a wonderful year to be back to things. Um, I want to talk a little bit about excellence here for just a second. Whether it's, there's an old ABC wild, wide world of sports uh, section that would always start out uh, about the thrill of victory and the agony of defeat. It's what makes sports unique, uh, teaches us so many lessons. Aside from the competition, there's no doubt that our teammates, our families, our fans, friends, um, it's the people who bind us and help, I shut the music up, <laughs> um, and help keep us together. Um, and it makes all the hours on the court and the field, the course, the pool, whatever, worth it. And I know all of you are very, very dedicated to what you do and um, the accomplishments uh, are only a reflection of that. Um, ultimately, you have to learn how to continue to set high goals when we expect excellence. And as we talk about often in our program, to learn to be comfortable with being uncomfortable. Um, being uncomfortable helps you to achieve new goals and change and be uh, the student athlete, perhaps, that you've sought to become. Um, so less than 7% of high school athletes go on to be college athletes. Uh, it's a very small statistic. You all are part of a very elite group as a result of that. And uh, your participation in uh, collegiate athletics, but specifically here at Franklin College, I hope will be something that you'll be able to take with you the rest of your lives. Uh, be it all conference honors, all American honors, or team championships. Um, we accomplished a lot of amazing things this year. It was a full season, finally, for all of us, which was great. Um, so as we get into the awards tonight, we'll talk a little bit about some of the team accomplishments. Uh, this program has been very different over the years. We've got a full house tonight. really appreciate you guys coming out. So we'll get to celebrate all the teams to some extent, and then we have some major awards to give out as well, um, in addition to both academic and athletic. Um, wanted to thank a few people real quick though. First, I wanna thank Coach Garrett. She did the presentation and the background music. Um, she put everything together for this today. Um, I've thrown her into the fire uh, as not just a volleyball coach, but as our assistant athletic director, senior women's administrator, and all the many titles that go now behind her name. And um, she did a great job with this, and uh, I just want you guys to give her a quick hand. <laughs> For the last several years, it's been really important that we um, were able to stream a lot of your uh, athletic events. Um, Hubler, the Hubler Motor Group, uh, if some of you guys are familiar with live in this area, you, you might be familiar with that name. They sponsor Grizz TV, and the guy behind Grizz TV is Ryan Thomas. He is our uh, assistant athletic director um, and what we would have formerly called our sports information director. And Ryan puts in just tons and tons of hours to make sure that um, your events are streamed, that your stats are kept, that the website is up to date, and uh, he puts in just as much time as any coach on this campus. Ryan's in the back right there, put him on the spot, but just thanks to Ryan. <laughs> I'd also like to give a big shout out to our coaching staff. Without them, we couldn't do this. As one of you, um, I share in the 
tireless um, opportunities that we get to share with our uh, student athletes. Um, if you're a coach in the room, if you could stand up real quick. Any coach? We all have our ups and downs as coaches, as athletes. Um, nobody, none of us are perfect, um, but we live through this, laugh through this, compete alongside you. Trust me when I say that we give everything to our sports because of you guys. Um, I would say all of us, I, I, I wouldn't even question this, that all of us do what we do for you. And um, a lot of us stay in these careers for a long time because of you guys. It makes it all so worth it, and we're grateful to be a small part of your lives here. So thank you for allowing us uh, that opportunity. We'd also like to give a big thanks to our trainers, Chris and his crew, Allie, Janelle, Kayla. They helped us get through the last few years with COVID. I don't know if they're here tonight, but they should be because we all owe them a lot. So thank you to them. Um, and then lastly, we had uh, last week or two weeks ago, I'm sorry, um, wanted to recognize our new officers for the Student Athletic Advisory Committee. So the uh, SAC is a very important part of athletics on this campus. I am going to challenge you next year, whether you are an officer or decide to be a member, to do more, be more, and serve this group of student athletes as best as you can. And we're going to do a lot and accomplish a lot together. Coach Garrett is um, the liaison for our uh, department in terms of staff with SAC. Uh, but just want to recognize you all here real quick and congratulate you in front of your peers. Um, our new president of SAC from the women's soccer team, Kinsey Price. If you Our new VP is Samantha Schlick from the Women's Tennis Team. And Secretary from the Volleyball Team is Savannah Van Hoy. And our new Treasurer from the Women's Soccer Team, Lily Haynes. And Armand, you've got some work with all these uh, young women. So our marketing director for the, with the football team, uh, Armani Christmas. <laughs> all right, great group. Um, I'm excited to work with you all next year, and we're going to get a lot done. Um, one of the things right away will be GGP in 2023, and we're going to bring GGP back and be a part of that. Athletics is you know, always uh, taken part in it, but not really from a planning standpoint. And we're going to kind of go arm in arm with student development and um, and work together to bring back GGP in a big, bigger and better way. In part, bring back the old bike race, which has been absent from our campus for about six years. So the president and I are very excited about that and uh, really look forward to working with this group to get that done. So. With no further ado, it's now my pleasure to introduce a man who knows Franklin Athletics probably better than anyone. I'd like to welcome President Prather to the stage. Good evening. It's a pleasure to be here. I know what you're thinking. Dang, he's quick for a man his age. And, um, the reason for that is I've got a brand new titanium hip. So I was I was gone from campus for about a month. I apologize for missing athletic events, but my body is now worth more than it was a month ago because I've got titanium and porcelain and a big screw in there. So um, the most important thing is I can walk without pain so I can make it back to athletic events and not be dragging a crutch that I took off of Chris Schaff so I wouldn't have to buy one. Um, it's just good to feel normal again. It's great to be with you. As Andy said, I was a part of this realm in my previous life. 
um, for about 37 years, and nothing is more special than to get together and celebrate success with one another. I'm so proud of all of you. I'm so proud of all the coaches and the work you do, um, not just for the success that happens, which is really, really important to the institution, but even more than that, for the way that all of you go about engineering that success with class, with sportsmanship, just the way we would love to have Franklin College always represented to the world. And you probably don't fully realize or appreciate that more than anything else we do, you are the face of the institution. You show up in more places, uh, doing more things representing Franklin College than anything else that happens here. So for all of the things that all of you do, thank you all very much. Winning is certainly important in that uh, formula, but how you go about it is perhaps even more important, and I'm so proud of all of the teams and how you do that. Um, and I know that every single team that had a postseason conference <coughs> tournament to qualify for did qualify. It's been a long time since that's happened. You ought to give yourselves a round of applause for that. That's a great accomplishment. I think the most important thing I can tell you tonight is that our goal institutionally is to give you everything you need to be successful as student athletes. So on the athletic side of things, that means the best resources we can possibly muster. Human resources in the form of coaches and athletic trainers, uh, but also some of the physical resources. One of my commitments when I became president was to address some of the deficits that we have uh, in terms of the facilities, in terms of uh, indoor facilities. We, we had a deficit in outdoor facilities and kind of in the blink of an eye, we fixed that. We have outdoor facilities that I think are the envy of most uh, Division three schools any place, but in the process, we fell behind with our indoor facilities. So the Johnson Memorial uh, health athletic annex we watch every day I drive by there real slowly every morning to see how much progress was made the previous day There's now brick that's sitting out there So before long the face of that will look a lot like Spurlock across the street and more importantly when you come back in the fall those of you who are returning uh, It'll be pretty well open for business We think if the weather cooperates and that's not the end of it. So we've got a feasibility study that the board has um, asked us to conduct to see what makes the most sense for the next indoor facility for us as well. So we need more gym space, we need more locker room space, we need more office space. We're well aware of all of that. And we'll try to do it in a package that is doable in a reasonable amount of time. So we're not looking at some 15 year um, project. For one thing, I will be in Sarasota in 15 years. I will not be here still. So I want to see this while I'm here to enjoy you enjoying it. And we'll try to figure those things out. The board meets in a couple of weeks. We'll try to take the next step in that direction. And the last thing I would say is, as much as I enjoy watching you compete and, and watching you perform in that setting, it's equally enjoyable when I see your faces show up at the Honors Convocation, at Scholars Day, when the top 10 seniors are announced, when the Greek awards are announced. The fact that I think the, the thing we do exceptionally well here is to allow student athletes to be both students and athletes and involve themselves in lots of different things. So for those of you who have extended your leadership and your involvement throughout the campus, uh, just please know how much that is appreciated and celebrated. Um, and to all of you who are celebrating successful seasons tonight and successful individual awards tonight, congratulations to you all. All right, now we move on to the year interview. So this year was a breakout season for all the Grizzly teams. Franklin beat a well in conference and had almost every team make the conference tournament. We'd like to honor each team and their achievements, so as your team is mentioned, please stand and be recognized. So we're going to start off first with the basketball program. So first up, we men's basketball. So you can stand up, men's basketball. <laughs> So this season, your 2021-2022 men's basketball
basketball team won the HCAC championship after being the top three teams in the league for their second straight conference tournament title and first NCAA tournament appearance since 2008. The conference named Matt Krause the first team all HCAC and Cody Samples was named the HCAC tournament MVP after dropping 34 points against Hanover in the title game. As well as the beginning of the postseason, we named Chris Hamilton as the new head coach, and we're looking forward to seeing him lead the team next season. Next up for Woods Basketball, they claim six league wins as they can stand up, as I'm saying this. What's that song? I see you there. Wins. They made their conference tournament for the third year in a row. Seniors Destiny Cross and Jessica Nix collected all conference honors for the second straight year. And the team's most thrilling win came courtesy of a Georgia Hanauer buzzer beater from the half court to beat Principia in the early season. So let's give a good round of applause to girls basketball. <laughs> Next up, we have men's and women's cross country starting off for the men's team. So stand up, men's cross country. in time before long. So Men's Cross Country runners John Asplund and Jack Sells were named to the HCAC All-Conference teams, with Corbin Lee named the team's sportsmanship recipient throughout the year. Seven different runners claimed new personal best times on the course. Meanwhile, for the Women's Cross Country team, they also broke some personal best and runners. Hey Mikowski, Ella Basher, and Emily Rector made All-Conference, Arnold Mention, and the sportsmanship teams. Women's Cross Country, I can see you stand up. Get your round of applause, you're here. Up, we have the golf teams. First up, we women's golf. So women's golf showed a lot of promise this season, finishing in their third straight top five finish in the HCAC Conference Championship. Macy French finished third overall at the event held here in Franklin, becoming the fourth player in program history to earn three all-conference showings at the league championships. Meanwhile, for men's golf, HCAC Championship runner-up, their best finish since the 2010 campaign. Alice Showalter was named to the all-conference team for placing third at the conference championships, and the team claimed victory once when the conference preview tournament in the fall. Next up, we have men's and women's soccer. So first up will be the men's soccer team. Men's soccer had two members of the team recognized by the conference and appeared in the conference tournament for the first time since 2014. John Moore became the second Grizzly to earn HCAC Newcomer of the Year, and Andrew Tapia picked up his first career all-conference nod. We're also thrilled for Josh Galvin to join us as the new head coach of the men's soccer program. Next up, women's soccer. Soccer qualified for their conference tournament for the third year in a row and seventh time in the last eight campaigns this fall. Lily Haynes and Caleb Hewitt picked up all conference recognition, and we were happy to welcome Jennifer Jackson aboard as the new head coach of the women's program. <laughs> Next up, we'll start off with women's swing and diving. HCAC team champions this year for the fifth year in a row, with Lena Kenworthy breaking a conference record and multiple members of the team making first, second, and sportsmanship teams. Faith Jackson, Cameron Elder, and Carly Vaughn all qualified for the NCAA Diving Regional, marking the first time Franklin has sent three female divers to the regional. <laughs> Next up is the men's swing and diving team. So the men also had an impressive
impressive year with three conference record breakers, multiple swimmers, names to first, second, honorable mention, and sportsmanship team. Gage Creech also racked up an impressive number of accolades, including qualifying for and becoming the first diver in program history to complete at, compete at the NCAA championships and being named to the NCAA honorable mention All-American. also became the inaugural HCAC Swimming and Diving Athletes of the Year. <laughs> Next up to the tennis teams, we'll start with the men's team. <laughs> the team finished their season on a high with a winning record for the first time since 2015. Ty McCory, Dustin Garrison, Matt Lemming, Nathan Jarbo were all named to the HCAC teams at the end of the year as Franklin finished fourth in the conference. Next up for this team. Who is this team? They also had a good season as Emma Foley was named Player of the Week for the first time and was named to the HCAC Honorable Mention team, along with Macy Terhoon and Sydney Larson. So you can round of applause as well. Try to think Hoosiers, it didn't help. So next up we have the women's track and field team. So currently competing at the regional level is a thrower Taylor Tatlock who is holding a spot at the Great Lakes All-Region Tournament. Sarah O'Day also had a great season breaking the school 100 meter record. Across the two HCC championships, the Grizzly women earned eight total podium finishes. <laughs> Next up is the men's track and field team. <laughs> the men also have a thrower competing at the regional level in Zach Wiley. He's been named to the HCAC Thrower of the Week five times and was the HCAC Throw of the Year at the Indoor Championships and became an all-region selection. The team earned medals in eight different events across the two HCAC Championships. Give a round of applause too. <laughs> Next up for the first time here at the Atlanta Athletic Awards ceremony will be the eSports team. competition with the team competing against schools from across the country in four different games. An individual highlight of the team came from Taylor Campos, who took runner-up in the Super Smash Bros. Collegiate Singles Spring Tournament this year. Give a round of applause. <laughs> Next up, the baseball team. The team is still into the postseason to play for the as they won the HCAC regular season championship for the first time since 2018 with a sweep over, surprise, surprise, Hanover to close out the regular season, as well as reign the number one seed in the tournament. Several Grizzlies have set new single season records this year with Logan Dinkovich claiming the home run and RBI records, AJ Sanders setting the new stolen base record, and Alex Rydell the save record. They open up postseason play this Thursday against either Hanover or Anderson. <laughs> Coming back to the fall season, we have the football team. in 2021, capping their year by bringing the Victory Bell back home with a 27-16 win over Hanover. <laughs> a total of 15 Grizzlies earned all-conference accolades with Garrett Cora catching HCAC Newcomer of the Year and Jairo Ojada setting the single-season record for sacks was named a third-team all-region by D3Football.com. <laughs> Next up is the women's lacrosse team. The team had five players named to the all-HC 
HCLC teams and qualify for the HCLC tournament for the second year in a row, a first for the program. Bailey Riddle matched the single season record for goals scored, while Victoria Simmons broke the season and program record for assists, and Bella Fry now holds the single game record for draw controls. <laughs> Next up we have the softball team. Come to close this past week with a sixth straight appearance in the HCAC tournament. Franklin had seven players pick up all conference honors, with five players earning their first career all conference accolades. <laughs> and finally, we have the volleyball team. team and newcomer team, and junior Billy Garrett and senior Allison Thompson receiving honorable mentions. <laughs> Let's give one more round of applause to all the teams who competed in this year's tournament. We are all excited to see what 2022 and 2023 has in store. Now, I'd like to bring back Coach Hendricks to the stage present the Willby Nelt, the Jenny Johnson Cabins, and the Hunter Leadership Awards. themselves and, and to whom they're named after. So the first award is the Will B. Nelp Award, which recognizes the Outstanding Senior Male Athlete of the Year. The Nelp Award was initiated in 1922 by Will B. Nelp, who was then athletic director and head coach of four sports here at Franklin College. Mr. Nelp was a 1917 cum laude graduate of Franklin where he played football, basketball, and baseball. Mr. Nelp changed the name of the award during World War I to the Kleiber Sunball Award in honor of two friends and fellow teammates who were killed in combat during the war. Mr. Nelp's name then returned to the award following his death in 1945. Criteria for the Nelp Award includes completion of the final season of eligibility, outstanding athletic accomplishments, successful academic experience, and exemplary citizenship within and beyond the campus community. This year we had three nominees, and the nominees were Evan Hosier from the football and track and field team, Logan Demkovich from the baseball team, and Matt Krauss from the basketball and the golf team. It is with my pleasure to announce that this year's Will B. Nelp Award as the Outstanding Senior Male Student Athlete goes to Matt Krauss. College is the Jenny Johnson Campus Award. Jenny, I talked to her this morning and she is actually in Florida. She would have liked to have been here, but she is coaching a 70 and older softball team as we speak. Uh, and they are playing in the national tournament in Fort Lauderdale, trying to bring home a national title. So, pretty cool. If you, if all you ladies are playing in the tournament, I want you to I'm still alive. The Jenny Johnson Campus Award is
is named in, in honor of the most successful female student athlete in the history of this college. The first woman inducted as a player into the Franklin College Athletic Hall of Fame, and a very successful coach throughout a long and impressive career. Jenny graduated magna cum laude from Franklin in 1972, where she was a standout athlete in basketball, softball, volleyball, field hockey, and track and field. She was the first woman inducted into the United States Slow Pitch Softball Association Hall of Fame, and she was named the Player of the Century and All Century Shortstop in the greater Cincinnati area. Jenny was also the recipient of the National Association of Women's and Girls Sports Pathfinder Award. Criteria, like the Will B. Nelp Award, includes completion of the final season of eligibility, outstanding athletic accomplishments, successful academic experience, and exemplary citizenship within and beyond the campus community. This year we had four nominees, and the nominees were R. Destiny Cross of the women's basketball team. Macy French of the women's golf team. Anna Perkins of the women's swim team. And Holly Thompson of the women's volleyball team. Again, it is with pleasure to announce that this year's recipient of the Jenny Johnson Campus Award is the outstanding senior female student athlete is oh. Anna Perkins. Varsity intercollegiate level or the club if overseen by athletic department. 
achieving the junior academic standing, earning a 3.4 GPA or higher. Juniors will receive a lapel pin and seniors will receive graduation cords. If your name is called, please come up to be inducted into the Chi Alpha Sigma Honor Society. Your 2022 Chi Alpha Sigma inductees are Cameron Case, Esports Men's Swimming. Josh Folkstad, Esports. Tyson Lipscomb, Baseball. Jackson Young, Baseball. TJ Deer, Basketball. Ryan Wiggins, Basketball. Corbin Lee, Men's Cross Country. Aaron Black, Football. Dylan Boswell, Football. David Carpenter, Football. Ian Sai, Football. Tyler Welty, Football. Zane Spangler, Men's Golf. Corbin Lee, Men's Track. Wyatt McCola, Men's Track. Nicholas Patton, Men's Track. Zachary Roberts, Men's Track. Ethan Pollitt, Men's Soccer. Nicholas Zaffy, Men's Soccer. Gage Creech, Men's Swing and Diving. Kyle Halfish, Men's Swing and Diving. Logan Parker, Men's Swing and Diving. Libby Baker, Women's Basketball. Jill Answall, Women's Cross Country and Track. Taylor Dixon, Women's Golf. Macy Fritch, Women's Golf. Kitley Kern, Women's Golf. Mara Wilson, Women's Golf. Elena Page, Women's Soccer. Sydney Boston, Softball. Faith Jackson, Women's Swing and Diving. Rebecca Pfeiffer, Women's Swing and Diving. Kinley Horman, Women's Tennis. Grace Oates, Women's Tennis. Madison Piper, Women's Tennis. And Billy Jarrett Polyball. Please give a round of applause to this year's inductees into the Kai Albert Signal. We will now recognize seniors who have already been inducted. If your name is called and you are not already up here, please come up and be recognized for your accomplishments. First up, Nicholas Ellendorf. Garrett Hill. 
Lucas Klein. Nicholas McClanahan. Mitch Mercia. Alex Rydell. Tiebreaker is determined 
by the student athlete who has completed or accumulated the most credit hours here at Franklin College. This year's, uh, are they at the same time? Or at the same time. So I'm going to name them both at the same time, so that way we don't ruin it. Okay, so on the, uh, maybe not show it until I've said both the names. Okay, <laughs> we're, we're together. Okay, so um, for uh, the women this year, a member of the women's cross country and track team is Jill Hanspaugh. <laughs> Men from the football team, Thomas Weather.